Today, we're talking about passive income, and this is gonna be the last video, I promise, that you'll ever have to watch about passive income. Let's go. Today, we're talking about passive income, and before we get started and dig right in, I wanna tell you right off the top that passive income is just making money while you snooze, right? Everybody wants to make money while they sleep. You see all of the uh, internet guys putting up pictures of them with actually the laptop on the beach, like who's gonna take their laptop to the beach with all the sand in the water? I ain't gonna even say nothing about that, but that's like a very unrealistic, some very unrealistic shit, right? So the, the goal of passive income is to say, hey, I wanna do a bunch of work, and our, what people are trying to sell you online is that I'm gonna do a little bit of work, and then uh, you're gonna make a, millions of dollars. I honestly can't see doing uh, very little work at all in trying to maintain passive income. So the one thing I'm gonna talk about right now, number one, we're gonna go through five. So make sure you stick down to the end because I think you're gonna like the fifth one. That's gonna tie it all in together. Number one, the number one passive income stream that I like the best would be creating courses. Uh, co creating courses and or membership areas. These courses and or membership areas, are you doing one time? It's kind of like a record label. Um, and if you use a place, like for me, for instance, I have courses online, but I don't have them in a marketplace. If you put them in a marketplace, like somewhere like Udemy, uh, or Udemy, however you're gonna pronounce that, if you do it somewhere like that, you don't have to run any ads, you shoot, the, you shoot it once, and if it's evergreen content, then it just sits there, and it's a marketplace. So they do the advertising for you, people come through, they see what they like, and if they want to use your course, they do, and the money keeps streaming in. So the best thing to do is put up five or six or seven. Some guys I've even see, see, I've seen have like 20 courses on Udemy or Udemy, however you want to pronounce it, and they don't even have to advertise. Now, if you decide to go the ad route, then there is some maintenance that needs to be done. I would prefer to see ads done, um, finding out an audience that likes your ads, retargeting them, putting up some um, SEO content uh, and trying to get that recurring revenue. Because if you don't have an ad out, then it's really like a promo. And you're kind of like waiting to see when rushes of traffic will come through YouTube and if uh, our YouTube or your blog. And if you've ever done any kind of business online, you know that there's slumps, there's peaks and then there's valleys, right? So you kind of subject to those peaks and valleys if you decide not to do any paid advertising. Number two. Now, I'm gonna run right into SEO right now. I like SEO. <laughs> Contrary to what a bunch of people think, if you're gonna do SEO, I love it. Evergreen content on a website is awesome. And once you can rank your keywords, now here's the thing. Once you rank your keywords to be number one, number two, number three on Google, and you're using affiliate links or your own content like we talked about, a course, you're gonna get automatic income. Now, it's not gonna be some overnight shit though. It's, it's gonna take work. There's two types of currency that you're gonna to have to spend online, money or time. And so you have this, um, and people use these two words together. It's called free traffic, right? And there's no such thing as free traffic because you're gonna to have to spend money or you're gonna to have to spend time or the third way, which people think is free, is called spam. So we, we ain't trying to go that route. So understand that if you're gonna try to work with passive income with social or search traffic, which isn't free because you have to spend for it either way, you're gonna have to invest boatloads of time, especially in the beginning. It'll take a year or two or three years to get everything all set up. And what I want you to understand about SEO traffic is, is that those ranks move up and down. So you have to get some type of software to look at your rankings, see who just beat you out, make corrections, and you're gonna have to steadily fuck with it. So passive income isn't really so passive, or the truest form of passive income isn't really so passive when you think about that there will be have to be some maintenance issues involved with that. Number three, man, now this next one, man, I really like. YouTube. Obviously, I'm here on YouTube, and YouTube evergreen content can pay you 
passively in a million and one ways, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deliver you a couple of ways right now. And I'm not gonna just like go into a whole thing about it because I could go on forever about how YouTube can pay you. Now you can look right down below at the time that I recorded this video, I had something like, I don't know, 3,700 subscribers and I'm doing six figures with YouTube evergreen content. And how I do that is I'm not making money with the YouTube ad revenue, but once you start uploading tons and tons of videos, you'll start to understand that each video is gonna make you like a dollar a day or a penny a day or something like that, whatever it is, you'll start to understand that no matter what you upload, those will start to bring in ad revenues. So if you start put, if you put up, if your goal is to put up a thousand or 2000 videos on YouTube, no matter how many subscribers you have, those videos will bring in revenue. The next thing is though, if you do it correctly and you start to uh, start to rank your videos and learn how to rank videos, you can do what I call sniping, which is like you guys see it all the time. I sniped Ty Lopez and I sniped his traffic and I was able to sell courses to those people that couldn't afford his thousand dollar price tag. And I just undercut him a little bit, uh, gave up some notes that I did on his course and I made a boatload of money doing that. The second way is affiliate monies. I have my own, you guys are some of the best YouTubers, uh, some of the best subscribers that I've ever seen on any channel. Um, you, obviously that you guys come into my Facebook group, you guys hang out here on the channel and uh, because I give honest reviews and because I don't, you know, I don't pull any punches and I'm a no bullshit kind of dude, you guys appreciate that. So if I give you uh, some products that I feel are worth your attention, you guys jump right on it. I get a couple affiliate bucks. You guys are happy with the product you get because I brought some awesome shit, passive income. But I wanna tell you though, that that passive income is not as easy as you would think as far as like, I'm just in, kicking it with my knees in the breeze. That type of passive income, I'm gonna tell you, probably takes an hour to two hours of maintenance. I'm gonna say weekly, if not more than that. If you really wanna crush them, which is what I'm doing right now, that means I'm, I'm, I'm spending the majority of my time, eight hours a day, fighting these fucking motorcycles driving by. <laughs> that means I'm spending the majority of my time, eight hours a day, six hours a day, working on my YouTube channel. But in the future, next year, two years, three years down the line, I won't have to do as much work. Number four. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting that from a video game. Finish him, right? That's coming on number five, so just hold tight. So number four are eBooks and Amazon Kindle books and actually paperbacks, right? So back in the day, it was really hard. Um, Nancy, I don't know if you guys know this, but Nancy's mom is an actual author, right? If you go on Amazon right now, you could find her mom's book. I think for somewhere around 900 bucks or some shit like that because it's like an old classic book that you can't, it's out of print. Um, and that's the point, right? Uh, uh, sadly, Nancy's mom passed away, but look, if she still sells this book on Amazon, Nancy and the family get residual payments. Um, and that's gonna run me into number five, just hang in there with me. Number uh, Paperbacks, Kindle books, and eBooks are timeless. When you fill them with uh, evergreen content. So, in other words, don't go shooting an ebook, or excuse me, writing an ebook, talking about how to make money with Snapchat. But if you want to talk about the three main, the three main niches is health, wealth, and uh, relationships. If you talk about these three main things, um, you'll understand that those are evergreen contents and they'll never go away. Now, I could do a whole course or a whole video on how to rank on Amazon. But we don't have enough time right now, but that's the key. You need to rank your ebook, rank your Kindles, rank your paperbacks on Amazon. And I'll give you a hint, one of the biggest ways to do that, if you do it with a paperback, is to do free plus shipping. Now, coming up in this next week, I'm gonna show you exactly how to write a book, even if you've never done it before. So make sure that you click that bell button, we'll talk about that before the end of the video, so you can get updates. Number five, finish them. Remember I told you that was coming, right? So, number five is the number one way to earn passive income without having to really spend a lot of time. Now, I wanna let you know that everything that I've talked about, this isn't some shit that I haven't done. Everything that I'm telling you about, I currently use to make passive income. Now, that being said, 
um, Nancy and I earn somewhere in around the areas of $50,000 a year in passive income. So we're not super rich, but I will tell you that that passive income is what we live on. Two grand a month, three grand a month, we live on that. We spend our on our electric bills, gas for the car, insurance, <laughs> right? And those type of things. And the, the last thing is we live on stocks and bond dividends and we live on commercial real estate. Every year, like clockwork, that check comes in from commercial real estate that we have in the United States of America and stocks and bonds that we have dividends on like IBM, blue chips shit, right? Now, if you take everything that I've given you from one through four and invest all of that passive income into commercial real estate, which would be your goal, take each one of these things and invest into commercial real estate, invest in blue chip stocks and start to get those dividends, your 3%. Your slow money is for show money. Remember that, say it with me. Slow money is for show money. That very slow money, even though you might invest $50,000 or $100,000 into a piece of commercial real estate, like an office building or something. Maybe you do it with friends because that's how we did it. We have a collective group of family members that all invested into this real estate. Every year, we all chop up, you know, $150,000 each, or excuse me, among the family members, and we get those every year. The dividends come out, the dividends check come about once every four months, and they're anywhere from $200 to $1,000. But at the end of the year, it all adds up to 50 grand a year, and I do absolutely nothing with that. Um, I think we have to file some tax paperwork, uh, and that's all. So that's the most hands-off form of pa uh, passive income that you're gonna get, but you have to build up to that. So before I leave this video, the one thing I wanna tell you is, don't think that you're gonna get rich quick with passive income. It ain't going down, and I don't care what anybody says on the internet, you're gonna have to invest time or money into passive income. And what's really fucked up is that most of the time, you have to invest lots of both. You're gonna have to invest tons of time figuring out your income streams because you're going to want like five or six different income streams. Like if you notice, I have YouTube income. I have affiliate income. I have my own courses as an income. I have stocks and bonds as income and I have real estate as an income. And coming up, I have a book as income. So I'm using all of these just to scrape up 60 to 70 grand a year. In well, a little bit more with affiliate income. I do make more. But the super passive income where I'm doing nothing, well... <laughs> Nancy's in the back going, look, dude, don't love discount your six figures. And it's true. I do make six figures with affiliate monies. But with the super passive income, I don't want to lie to you and act like I'm making millions of dollars because I'm not. 50, 60 grand a year with the super passive income where we do absolutely nothing. Now, because Nancy and I have given ourselves a, a nice fuck you fund and we own our home cash, it's easy to live off of two, three grand a month. Super easy. As a matter of fact, we hardly ever spend that kind of money. So your whole goal should be to get that route. Now, before I leave, I wanna make sure that if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. There's gonna be lots of videos just like that. Boom, hit that, that, uh, that bell button right next to subscribe if you wanna be uh, notified when I do upload videos. Make sure to go visit my private group, fhp.io, Funnel Hacker Pro. And that's a whole mouthful, man. Make sure that you share this video. Yeah, the wind is going crazy right now. Make sure that you share this video if you know someone that you that would like to see this video. Remember, sharing is caring. All right, man, that's all I got to say for right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.